Hello everyone, Nubkex here, welcome back to Nub Raids. In today's video, we are going to get, you can see we still got a bit of a ways to go, we are going to be getting this Eternal Soul Stone for the end of the Hero's Path event. I've been doing the entire thing so far with Champion Training and it's been a massive grind and honestly, I decided we're going to pull some shards because I'm just kind of sick of this grind. It's a pain in the ass and we're going to be grinding a lot. Uh, on Tuesday and Wednesday for CVC. As always, guys, by the way, come check out the stream, twitch.tv slash nubkex. you find the link in the description down below. Of course, going to be streaming once uh, CVC kicks off for a little while. It's going to be a bit shorter than usual this time around. It is a personal reward, CVC, by the way, because uh, we are moving into our new house next week, hopefully, or this week coming. Hopefully, if everything goes well, we're doing a, we're doing the mandatory IKEA trip, though on Tuesday, so I'll have to cut that stream off a bit early. But anyway, let's pull a few shards. I'm going to be saving up 15 sacreds, of course, which is what, what I do have, um, uh, just in case there is a guaranteed uh, champion during the CVC, which I think is fairly likely. I think it's the end of the fiscal quarter. Uh, uh, part of me was even a little bit nervous. They might do just a random guaranteed void champion just to get that, that end of the quarter bonus in there, you know, but we'll see what we're going to do. We're going to pull uh, 10 ancients, I think, and we're going to pull, we're going to pull seven voids to start us off. Uh, there is a boost for Leorius, which would be insane. Uh, but I, I've no idea where I am on my mercy timer, but we're just getting a good chunk of hero coins for this. Um, an epic. That's actually pretty nice. Hey, it's a seer. I already have seer. But that's, uh, that's pretty cool. All right, cool. There we go. People are going to be hella jealous of that. Seer's a lot of people's most wanted. I mean, if we were to get a legendary, it'd be absolutely nuts. I'm not too worried about not getting it. This is just cracking a small number for the sake of the thing. And uh, I mean, like if we were to get one, at least it'd be a good chance for Leorius, which would be pretty awesome. I'm expecting, I've talked myself into it now. I'm expecting Leorius. And of course, we're getting Retainer. There we go. We've got two more voids. Here we go. I know I should definitely be getting somewhat close to Mercy Timer on Voids. Um, I, I expect that whenever the next guarantee for Voids is, not this time, the next guaranteed Voids, that's why I'm keeping the 80 here, and we'll be building that up, and uh, hey, if they did a guaranteed Void for 90, like, tomorrow, uh, you know, as a content creator, I could probably buy it and not feel too bad, but um, <laughs> really want to minimize purchasing as much as possible. Uh, but yeah, okay, cool. There we go. And let's pull let's pull the 10 blues just for the sake of it. I think there's about a thousand points for 10 blues. We'll find out. And again, not expecting much. Uh, and I've also actually completely forgotten where I am on Mercy Timer here. It doesn't matter. Actually, 1,800. That's actually better than I thought. Hellgazer and Visionary, neither one really exciting at all. What about the rares? Uh, nothing too exciting. Guardian is, is actually pretty good. I did a video on him recently enough. He's actually for a rare champion. Surprisingly good. Um, funny enough, out of all of these champions, he is probably the only one I would build, uh, which is kind of funny that he is the standout. Where does that put us with the coins? We're close. Let's do let's do three more blues just to bring it down to a round number, because you can't end on an odd number. It's just wrong morally, I think. Skull sworn. <laughs> Uh, I, I, I'm kind of nervous about pulling blues or sacreds. Like if we did get lucky and get a legendary, that it could be a cupidus, which I do want, but also don't want. Well, it doesn't matter. We're not getting him. But I already have two cupidus. I don't have any Venus. And it's one of those things, right, where on paper, let's pull 10 greens, really exciting stuff. On paper, you know, getting cupidus is amazing because he is a champion that's S tier. He is worth empowering. But it's like... Part of me is like, I'd almost rather get a B-tier champion that's new, you know? I kind of like just getting new stuff. Okay, well, I'm going to go grind out the rest. That makes it much easier. We now have a little bit of food. Thanks to pulling those shards, we've got a few rares to work with. So we can power through this last bit pretty quick. I will come back then, and we will uh, pull the, the, the Eternal Soulstone. We're just going to pull it. So I'll see you guys in a, a minute, your time. Well, a couple of seconds, your time, and several more seconds, my time. Be right back. All right, guys, we are back. It actually didn't take too long. I ended up using uh, a bunch of void brews to do it with the void rares that we pulled. And there we go. We have got our eternal soul stone. Uh, it's one of the, like, void brews are kind of a thing that, you know, I tend to build up loads of them and then I spend a bunch of them for, for champion training stuff uh, because it's kind of rare to get void champions to actually spend them on, right? But let's go. Here we go. This is my first ever eternal soul stone. First one Ever. I don't have enough of the big coins to, ever, to even buy one so far. So this was a crazy grind. It was pretty nasty. The thing that puts me off about this is the chances on this soulstone, 80% chance epic, 20% legendary. 
80% be five star, 20% to be six star. And then of course we could pull champions we don't have. I think, you know, for, for this massive sort of champion training style grind that I kind of skipped a little bit at the end of pulling some shards, um, usually that's for like skins or champions. And it's like, you know, when you do it, if you if you win, like you will get that thing. It's like the guaranteed value. With this though, is that question is like, yes, it could be amazing. This could also suck. Well, what the heck? Let's pull it right now. By the way, I've said this in other videos, but for me with my coins, it's legendary. It's legendary. It is a six star. It is a six star. It's Kira. Now I don't have her. I don't have her. I'm gonna keep that for now. I mean, I could sell it back. I get a thousand coins. I could buy another one, but I mean, <laughs> I I'm totally cool with keeping that, even though I don't have it for now. I, I mean, I might sell it in future, but why the heck not, right? It's a 20% chance of a 20% chance. There was a 4% chance to get a six star legendary. You know, on the off chance I ever get her, that's actually cool. Um, I was even kind of worried she might be the guaranteed legendary happening this week. It could happen. Um, cause I do think that she's sort of a good iron twins champion, but that's about it. Weird sort of champion, right? But whenever an ally is attacked under ally protection, she puts decrease attack on the attacker for a turn. I think that's pretty cool. That's obviously very good against the iron twins, like to get you through the, um, the, what's it like his ultimate doomsday, his doomsday machine. That really helps. She's got ally protection with increased defense on everyone. Three turn cooldown. She is an AOE that decreases enemy buffs and puts decreased accuracy, then her A1 can decrease attack. Like, I don't think she's that good. I definitely think she's a very B-tier champion. Like, yes, she's going to do a massive amount. She really keeps her team alive in a massive way. But I don't know if that's super useful. But hey, you know what? Having her six-star awakened, now that is more interesting. That is spicier. That is definitely spicier. Um... That could do some fun stuff, even in the arena, you know? That could be kind of funky. So I'm definitely going to hold on to it. Um, that's the second. I mean, I've got two. That's two. I mean, I don't have her, but I've got a six-star Lord Shazar now. That is two six-star, six-star perfect souls that I've got. I'm super lucky. Wow, I'm super lucky at this. Uh, that's cool. It makes, it, yeah, I mean, like I said, holding on to this, it makes pulling her more exciting, doesn't it? It makes pulling her more exciting for a champion which would otherwise be a real disappointment. And I got interrupted in my thought, but guys, in terms of what I'm gonna be doing with these coins, I did a whole video on this, breaking it down. Um, you can certainly gamble on the Eternal Soul Stones. The safer bet is definitely to buy Eternal Soul Essence to get these blessings, six star blessings, on like the champions that they're gonna be really good on. So we're talking stuff like, you know, your Duchess, your Sifi, um, whatever, Prince Kaimar, Romantu, you know, those really top tier champions. Uh, that's who you're going to be, I think, better off buying the Essence for. But my plan, as it is right now, I'm just going to be saving this stuff up until at least we see what the next big content is. We know there's PvP updates coming. We know there's new Hydra difficulties coming. I'm pretty happy at the point where I'm at now, where I've got some level one brimstones in my Hydra teams. Like I, I still will want to buy for Mithrala and get her a level one brimstone. That's absolutely something I want to do, uh, though I don't have any of the silver essence at the moment. So for goodbye, Duchess Perfect Soul. Don't have Duchess anyway. Um, but yeah, that's kind of like, I'm good with that. And now I can start saving stuff up, banking this stuff more for when we figure out what the next thing's going to be, because it's going to take you so long to build up enough coins, to build up these Eternal Soul Stones. But yeah, I feel pretty good about that. Let me know. What do you guys think? I feel pretty good about that, man. To get a six-star Legendary, even if she's B-tier, I don't own her. That makes this big old grind, because this was a much bigger grind than I had anticipated, actually. It was tougher than I thought. Um, it makes it fa makes that feel more worthwhile and pulling the shards is more worthwhile. I hope you guys had decent luck. Hopefully you got something useful. Obviously the chances are of course against you. These, uh, these soul shards are so random, but yeah, I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.